Well, Steve and I have been getting uh, really into trying to understand USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 and HDMI and DisplayPort, and we can't figure out a lot of this stuff because it's really, really complicated. So we went directly to the HDMI.org booth to talk to the people who wrote the spec. But they told us to come across right next door to Analogix because uh, Marv Sue and some other people here were great at uh, explaining all these different intricacies to us. And it's kind of like your reason for being is this confusion that's going on a lot in the industry and all these different ports and protocols, right Marv? That's right, Allison. So the key point that I'd like to make is that where the industry is going is with a connector called the USB-C connector. And it's really, really powerful and useful for everybody. And you'll see more and more devices that support USB-C. Um, and one of the areas of focus at Analogix, which is our booth, and what Analogix Semiconductor does is we enable um, the USB-C port to work. And specifically what we're showing you here is how the USB-C port, if the device, if the phone, if the PC, if the tablet supports something called display port over USB-C, it will allow that device to do video out to the big screen. And here what we've got are some phones. And for instance, here is a, a Samsung Galaxy S8. And it does support, right when you buy it on this USB-C port, it does support display port over USB-C. Here's your USB-C port. And what, what, so I guess one question I'd ask is have you ever used your phone and thought, okay, I'm watching a movie on that I bought or rented on Google Play, and it's all fine and good that, you know, I'm watching it on this beautiful screen, but wouldn't it be great, instead of watching it on a 5.5 inch screen, to watch it on a 55 inch screen? And share it with others. And now, you everybody sit in the living room and everybody watch it? Now you can Chromecast, or for the Mac people, That's you right. can AirPlay, That's but right. there's often lag and stuff. Lag. And it's really not a great experience always. My personal uh, frustration with trying to cast something is, oh, wait, what was that What was that dialogue? What did he just say? And then I want to just go back 15 seconds. And I have to, you know, I somehow have to drag on my phone or whatever that little back arrow. And then I've gone back three minutes. And then I'm moving it forward. And then I'm waiting another 10 seconds for it to catch up. By that time, you don't over. remember why you care. And then, you know, and then by then I'm grumbling and whatever else. And it's not, it's the lagginess. And sometimes if your Wi-Fi is, and your internet uh, connection is really choppy or unpredictable, the video quality can get um, not as... And, not and as underpowered good. devices, the same problem, right? Right. So what I've done, and I'll just show, there's so many ways. So the question is, if your phone or your tablet can do video out in high definition, what can you do with it? And that's what we're showing in this one particular display here. And I want, I want to break in for just a yeah. second here. Uh, my audience is familiar with the post that I just did called, uh, just because you can plug it in doesn't mean it will work. Right. So uh, Marv was very specific there when he said, if your device supports video out over USB-C, USB -C. Yes. then what he's showing you can work. Yes. But there are phones that have USB-C devices that have USB-C that don't support video out. There are devices that have USB-C ports. Right. And they can support charging and maybe USB data, but that just because there's a port there, that you have to check to see what that port is capable of. And folks out there on Allison's blog, I'm sorry, that's just kind of currently how it is. You can't assume just because it's a port, it's going to do everything you've seen or heard that that port can do. So I think one of, Marv's, the state of the industry. one of Marv's missions in life is to talk to customers who are like, yeah, but it's st I can stick it in. Why can't I see that signal? That's right. And so in, in this case, though, that, let's go ahead and, you know. Which phone is this, this we're looking at? This is the latest flagship from Sam This is a Samsung Galaxy S8. Okay. This would apply to the S8 Plus, the Note 8. So you, you will need what's called a USB-C to HDMI adapter because this TV supports HDMI. And you sell one called? We call it, it's called the Slimport USB-C to HDMI adapter. Okay. Now, I'm going to do sales for you, Marv. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So when I plug it in, uh, this phone, uh, do you see, hey, we got something on the wire here. Do you want to see it? So you'll see that this phone screen is now on the big screen. And... Now what? Well, oh, you know, let's pretend we were just watching Wonder Woman. Okay, and now instead of watching us all huddling over watching, you know, on, on this beautiful screen on a mobile device, what if we can watch it at up to 4K on a big screen? 
and it's really pretty decent. Now, uh, what limits it to 4K? Can it be higher than 4K? Well, uh, is the standard supported yet? The, the, the answer is the limitation is coming out of the, so the phone device and even more so the content. Oh, right, 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 right. Sure. So, suppose we're watching some um, low resolution content. It may get um, pixelated. It may get, uh, you know, uh, there's a turn. It may look smooth out and look better on a big screen TV, but it's not going to, it fundamentally, it's not going to look very good. Okay. So we're, we're seeing something on the big screen here. And the other examples are well, what if, what if I could do more on the big screen than just, uh, just doing streaming movies or net. By the way, Netflix is really useful to watch on big screen. Oh yeah, yeah. And Netflix, for many of you out there, Netflix about six months ago came out with a future a feature called well, not, it's not called anything, but you can download select movies from Netflix into your phone, so you don't need an internet connection. Right, right, right. You can just play that movie as a download. So it, you go to a hotel, you plug your phone in, you're good yeah. to go. Same for Amazon Prime Video. They have that capability too. So let me come over here. This is yet another phone that supports USB. -C. So which is this one? This is an LG V20. And by the way, you mentioned uh, the Pixel 2 does not support uh, dis a display signal, a video signal out of USB-C? That's right. The Pixel 2 does not, as, and there are many other phones that and have that's a, a pretty high-end phone, yeah. so that's good to does keep not in mind. support um, USB-C, uh, display port over USB-C capability, which is also, the, I think how we should just say is, does your phone support video out? Yeah, that's okay. a good way to simplify it there. Okay, so now we're looking at the LG. He's got it also plugged in with a yeah. slim port. Oh yeah, it worked over on that side, right? Maybe the phone's mad right now. Oh, there we okay. go. Okay. So what what I'm going to do here is, now you see... Oh, he's got a keyboard I, and mouse to his when phone. I, when I pair a mouse with Android, I got a little cursor. And what that means is, I can start scrolling through my low panels, and I can bring up PowerPoint, Word, Outlook. And I can, so here I'm, go, I'm bringing up Microsoft Word. I need to sign in, but imagine now I have truly a PC in my pocket. I turn my phone into, you know, a, a PC. That's actually pretty slick. I, That's pretty I nice. Can start doing emails instead of typing emails with, uh, you know, the touch screen. And you haven't I had to buy any kind of funky dock or anything no, like that or, no. you know, some strange device from Samsung that's specialized no. to that phone. All you need is a, an adapter that can do uh, uh, display port over USB-C, plug into any, let's say, office uh, monitor right. or hotel big screen. And you can also... You need an analogics uh, adapter is what you really need. You do, you do, <laughs> you do. Um, and then suppose then you want to play, you know, besides doing work, you want to actually play some games and we can do that too. So you can buy some Bluetooth game pads. This one happens to be from a company called Mad Cats. And you can load in some games and there are more and more games that support a game pad capability on Android. This looks amazingly good. This actually looks fantastic. Now, now, he's going to he's going to leave me now. Marv's going to just start playing a video game yeah, here in a minute. Sorry. Sorry guys out there. <laughs> I I uh yeah, things have kind of fallen asleep and so I need a pair a game pad with you know, oh, that's okay. That's okay. I think we get the idea. Yeah. The game starts going, and then I can sit there and use the gamepad and and, and uh, play the game on the big screen. Very cool. So, what else do you guys sell here? Well, we sell multiple accessories that enable different devices with different ports to do connect to the big screen. And what we also we also build products. We call them accessories um, that make this make this capability more kind of like a mini dock. Oh, okay. So, is this so? This is something you make right here. That's right. It's called a Slimport Nano Console, and it's for phones that the previous generation of phones that do micro USB over um, this. Okay, Slimport USB. Nano Console. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and that's it cute. Is, it's a it little. Comes with, yeah, it comes with all the cables that you need to connect to the big screen. It comes with this little dock that then you can set a phone on. You plug cable into the phone. You plug it here. It sit, rests there. And then there's a little touchpad remote control that you can it's use. It's actually adorable. To, um, control that little cursor and launch apps and and navigate your phone while you're sitting down on your couch and looking at the big screen. Well, this is very cool, Marv. How would people find out more about Analogix? Yeah, go to www.analogix.com or uh, if you want to see some of our accessories, uh, go to www.slimport.com.
slimportconnect.com. Slimportconnect.com. That's fantastic. And Marva, I really want to thank you for uh, closing off some of the mystery to us. I think we've got it so I can explain it to all my friends and family and uh, the, the no silica castaways. Thank you very much. Thank you.